Hey guys, so coming at you today with a new product I, uh, I purchased the other day. These are the um, ign uh, Fly Racing um, Igniter Pro Heated Gloves. And um, you know, I was talking in previous uh, videos on my motor vlogs that I needed some heated gear and uh, gloves were the one thing I was looking for. And necessity um, kind of got me into uh, purchasing this particular um, brand of gloves so this is why I have these a backstory on why I got these is um, <clears throat> my uh, my faithful companion my 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee the transmission is going out on it it's starting to slip really bad so I'm kind of forced to ride the motorcycle as often as I can which is not a bad thing obviously and I was going to go out last weekend Today's Friday, December 15th, by the way. The last weekend, I was going on Saturday, I was going to go look at trucks, and the wife convinced me that there's no need in rushing and settling on one that I don't want just because I feel like I need to ride. So we went to the um, uh, BMW motorcycle dealership here in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and um, picked up these gloves. They were having a sale on all their heated gear. Uh, the price tag on these is still on here. Uh, they retail for, I don't know if I can get this up there into the camera frame. Um, $189. Uh, they were on sale. I got these. I think I was out the door for $157 and change. Well, uh, I was thinking about getting the ones from Cycle Gear, the um, because they were they're about the same price, but they were wired, and I already got a battery tender on the bike, so it would have been easy to hook up the connections. But um, I got these because of the price. These are the only ones they had uh, with a built-in controller. Uh, but these are battery operated. They don't have, uh, they're not wired, they have a battery. But let's just get into them. And um, I did ride a couple of days last week. I have um, some footage that I'll probably throw in here. The vlog that I made when I was riding, I didn't like. So I'll just throw some footage of me riding with the gloves and talking a little bit about them in the videos. But let's get to the gloves. So they make these in um, uh, leather and they make them also in this textile material that I purchased and the reason I picked the, the textile version and not the leather ones was was simple for me um, They didn't have my size. These are extra large. I don't have huge hands I tried on the large and they were kind of tight in the leather and um, You know when I made a fist I could feel it binding a little bit and that's how I judge gloves So I put these on the extra large I made a fist and they did they weren't tight so I got the specs up on my phone here and I'll go ahead and read them to you. So they um, uh, have a integrated hard knuckle armor right there. They have full leather palm and fingers. Uh, they've got the re uh, reflective logo and the, um, the stripe there. They have a uh, cuff pull tab for helping you to pull them on right there. You can pull that. That'll help you pull the glove on, I guess. Uh, they got the gauntlet uh, velcro strap there. They have uh, silicon prints on the palm Right here you can see it reflecting and they have it also on the fingertips uh, For increased grip uh, they have three millimeters 3m 200 gram thinsulate insulation 20 grams thinsulate in the palm for easier use of your controls uh, the fingertip is uh, touch. The finger, the index fingertip is touchscreen uh, compatible for your uh, your phones or whatever, but not the thumb, which some people complained about. So instead of app being able to use your thumb and forefinger to make the screen big, you actually have to use your two index fingers, which I don't care. I rarely use anything like that on my bike. Anyhow, my GPS is glove friendly. Anyhow. Um, they have stainless core heating technology, so they say that provides superior life, even heating and extreme durability. Uh, Pre-curved fingers, most gloves have that. Uh, adjustable wrist strap. Hippora light liner, which is waterproof, windproof, and breathable. And it comes with a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery, and a controller is built in with three heat settings. And uh, there's a 110 charger that I'll show you in a minute for charging the gloves. and. Um, I don't know if I can, I, I, I did find the specs, but I, I, I don't want to lie. Uh, I've got the little booklet right here that talks about it. Um, I don't think it tells you how long the battery actually will last. Um, but from what I've seen on other reviews is that on the heat setting on max, I think they say most people have found it lasts about two and a half hours. 
and on the lowest setting about four and a half hours so that's not bad I've got a 30 minute commute I rode to work the other day with these gloves and the temperature was the ambient air temperature was 30 my max speed is normally around 60 miles an hour for about the first 19 miles not even that about the first 15 miles and um, I had it on the, the lowest setting and I was fine. The wind chill is about 10 degrees at 60 miles an hour at 30 degrees ambient air temperature. Um, it comes with this nice little carrying case here. I mean, it's kind of thin and flimsy, but it will give you something to put your gloves in in the off season. Uh, here's a wall wart for uh, charging the batteries. I wrote gloves on mine because these are so generic. They look like everything else I've got, but it's pretty cool here. It's got two pigtails. So when you're charging them, you can charge both of the batteries at the same time, which is pretty cool. Now the batteries are easy to get to on the bottom of the glove cuff here. You, you just come into this part and you pull this Velcro apart and there's the battery right there. So it is a um, lithium polymer battery pack. Uh, it's 7.4 volts at 2200 milliamp hours or 16.28 uh, watt hours. And uh, it, I charge them up fully charge them when I um, got bought the gloves you plug this in and now this because this reads voltage coming both direction when you plug it in it's going to show you that the, there is charge in their battery but um, when you plug this into an outlet it'll turn red when it's charging and when the batteries are fully charged this light will turn back to green letting you know the batteries are fully charged um, so you know you put the batteries in the glove um, and I'm not sure what the weight is. I'll go get my scale here and um, check it out, show you. So it does make the glove a little bit heavier, but I'm not running any races. And you slide it right in there and put the Velcro strap and you're done. You know, and you put the glove on, you put a little pull tab right there, you pull it over the sleeve of your jacket, tighten up the, the thing down. And it's as simple as pushing the minus button to turn them down, or if you want to turn them off to, to turn the glove on, you just push this the plus button. So now it's on its lowest setting. Uh, you push it again, it goes to the medium setting, and then you push it again, it goes to the uh, the hottest setting there is. And um, I haven't had it on that setting outside, but uh, I, I I'm certain that it'll be it'll be pretty warm. Um, I can feel it starting to heat up inside already. For the, for the money for these gloves with the battery pack that you can recharge, um, I don't I don't I think it was a pretty good deal. And like I said, I, I was lucky to catch them on sale. You can get these at Revzilla, you can get them at I think Cycle Gear actually carries these too. Um, I don't have any long-term review for these gloves because I haven't had them very long, but uh, just from the, the, the short time that I've had them and, and uh, where I've worn them, I um, I'm impressed. I'm glad I purchased them. Uh, no buyer's remorse. I'm just going to unplug the batteries, stick it back in here. Uh, no buyer's remorse here on my end. And uh, like I said, I you know the benefits of having a glove that has a battery are there's you don't have to rewire or wire anything to your motorcycle. You don't have to plug your gloves into anything on your motorcycle. So when when I get off my bike after when I get to the end of my ride, I just get up I could walk right away from the bike without having to unhook anything. I could take my gloves off without having a, a cable running into the sleeves of my jacket. Igniter Pro heated gloves. Uh I got a thumbs up for me. Well other than that, I hope you all got having a good week. Uh today's Friday, December 15th. Not sure when this will go up, but I hope everybody has a great weekend. And um, like I said, I'll put some clips of the uh, ride I did here um, inside this video somewhere. So, all right, guys, I'm out. Well, would you look at this? Here I am getting ready to ride to work. And it's like really, really cold. So I got these heated gloves. I'll talk about them. They're Fly Pro um, Igniter, I think. I got them on level one right now, and they're really warm inside. And uh, well, let's just get going. What's the current temperature of Fredericksburg? Alright, so according to Siri and the weather, it's 30 degrees. So 30 degrees with a wind chill at 60 miles an hour. I'm not sure what that is. I'll look it up when I get to work and post it on the screen here.
but yeah I'm fine I mean I got the gloves on one I'm starting to feel it a little bit in my right hand it's in the very very tips of the fingers but not to where I want to turn the gloves up on the higher notch you know, I don't know if y'all can see this but there's a deer carcass right over here there's a bald eagle this is the second day I've seen that bald eagle over there he goes eating on that deer carcass there's two of them I've seen right here in this area I don't know if they're mates or not but this is awesome I love these bald eagles you know it's a national bird it stands for freedom it stands for America and anytime I see them out, it just, uh, it gets me pumped up, man.